Today we're going to go ahead and show you how to install our mini four-way cassette for our FJM or free joint multi-system. For the purpose of the video, we've already cut the banding straps loose. One of the most important things we can do is verify that we have the correct model numbers for our installation. One of the easiest ways to do that is to use your Samsung HVAC mobile app. We can scroll over to the specifications tab. From there, we can simply hit the scan button. And then we can scan the barcode, pull down a submittal, and verify that we have all of the right equipment combinations. Now that we've verified everything is correct and the banding straps are loose, we're simply going to lift the top cardboard box right off the unit. Once you remove the top cardboard box, you are going to find a mounting template that can be used to hold up to your ceiling to mark this, the areas for your strut that's going to come down to mount it to it, to know where your electrical connections are and all of your dimensions. This can be very helpful to make the installation go a lot easier. Now inside the unit, you can remove the styrofoam covers. And for the purpose of the video, we've already taken these materials out of the bag. But what you'll find is your wireless remote controller and the mounting bracket that you can mount to the wall so we can keep the controller in a consistent location. You'll find the full installation manual that'll walk you through each step that you need to do. You'll find the user manual that you should leave with the homeowner so they know how to operate their system. You'll also find the warranty registration packet that'll teach you how to register the product for its full warranty and let you know the terms and conditions. And then finally, you'll want to note that there's this bracket, which is very important. This bracket is used to clip into the four-way cassette so that we can run our electrical for our power and our electrical for our communications. Make sure not to dispose of this bracket because if you do, you'll have to reach out to Samsung or your distributor and get a replacement bracket, which will slow down your installation. Next, we'll remove the plastic covering and show you the four-way cassette. So here we have the return air opening and the fan. This cover right here is covering our electrical box. Later on in the video, we'll show you how to remove this so that you can go ahead and gain access to make your electrical connections. You'll find another plastic bag inside the box. And let's take a look at the contents. You see we have a few different pieces of insulation which we're going to wrap around our pipes so that that way we'll be able to prevent the condensation from forming. You'll find a couple pieces of those. And we'll find a third piece up in the top of this bag. So this way you can wrap around whatever pipes that you have and insulate them. You'll find an instruction manual for installing the drain line. Some various zip ties to hold everything in place. And what you'll find next is very important. You will find this first adapter that you will connect to the unit and tighten down with a hose clamp to connect to your drain line. Then you will find this purple adapter which will convert the metric drain line size to standard three quarter inch slip. Both of these pieces are going to be needed. So make sure not to dispose of either one as they're going to be very valuable into connecting your drain line. Now let's go ahead and get ready to mount the unit. And before you do, what we want to note is that you do not want to carry the unit by the styrofoam itself. You could break the unit. So what you want to do is carry it by the holding brackets down here on the left or the right to put it in place. Let's go ahead and start the installation. Okay, we're going to try to make sure we level our unit after we temporarily hung it up. We're going to adjust our all thread, all four corners. We'll check it front and back on both sides. Make sure you check it from the left to right on both sides and verify that it is level before you proceed. And then that way you can get your connections on your refrigeration lines and drain lines and electrical. So now we're going to be doing our electrical. We're going to remove our electrical cover on the cassette. There's two screws. That gives you access to your control wiring. We got our 
adapter in here that we got out of the box. We're going to feed our line voltage into our control box. And that's going to connect to your L1, L2. And you're going to use the ground that's marked as your ground, not this one. This is not your ground. This is the ground for our control box, as you can see. So make sure you use the other grounding screw to connect your ground up to an L1 and L2. You're going to have your F1, F2 communication shielded cable. That's going to connect to the opposite side of your control board to F1, F2 on the far side. And this is for the controls, the communication signal coming to the outdoor unit and to the indoor unit. All right, we're going to finish up tightening up our line voltage. We've already got our communication wires on here. F1, F2, and then for our thermostat, F3, F4. They're already connected and ready to go. We'll, we'll put our cover back on. Okay, we have the drain line here. So I got the insulation on now. So this is what it looked like coming out of your package. As you'll see, you got a flexible connector here with your PVC adapter we've got connected. And the reason why we have this flexible connector on here is you're allowed 15 degrees plus or minus up or down on this. And don't forget, we have a 29 inch lift on that pump from the bottom of this unit to the top of it. So do not go above that 29 inches to the top of your elbow when you're putting your drain. Now that we have our drain line up in place, we're gonna tighten up the hose clamp on the unit. And once that's securely fastened, we've completed our drain line and then we'll move to our refrigeration lines next. We're getting ready to torque this one down. We've already checked our flares, hand tightened them. The bevel's good, we got a good clean flare. Now we've tightened this one up. We'll get our torque wrench readjusted to where we can get to the quarter inch and then torque it down. You'll have these insulation that come in your installation package. These are going to be installed over your Armaflex and your flare nuts going to the unit. So you're going to be slipping them on and put the seam to the top and there's a piece of tape that's going to come off that adhes that to the other piece and that way you have a good sealed airtight joint because if air gets in there it will condensate. They also have one for the drain line and then you have one for your suction line also. And once you get these all on and sealed down good and tight, this is basically ready for the installation of the fascia panel. Here you'll see that we have our fascia panel and it's, it comes with the template that's on here to show you how this is going to be orientated with the holes up at the cassette to help you lay this out. We're going to unpackage it. Once we get it all unpackaged, you're going to want to remove the cover on the corners here. You'll see this is where your display is going to be and your receiver. On the filter removal, you're going to pull the two clips down. This comes open. It's got two little clips that can be undone. If you need to remove this out of your way while you fasten this up to the cassette and then while you gain access to your control box to put your harnesses in. And then on removal of this, these corners, they pop free. There's a thumb tab on each corner. You pull that towards you. The corners come loose. We'll have to do that on all four corners. So that way we can adjust this to our ceiling. And that's the reason why we have the foam rubber here to compensate for any gaps or any imperfections in your ceiling. Don't forget you have your manual and there's a set of screws and stuff to mount this onto the cassette to adjust it. So we'll want to do that. We remove the cover off the electrical panel. So as you can see, there's two gray clips on the inside and you got two plastic loops on your fascia panel. You can latch that in place to hold this up for you while you're trying to get your screws in here to adjust it. And your wires will feed in through the corner of your control box and plug in. As you can see, I can feed my screw in here and that will adjust this panel up or down to match the ceiling. 
And you want to make sure that's securely up against the ceiling, but make sure it's level as you can because if air leaks around that, it will condensate. And you got all four corners, so make sure you don't forget to do all four corners. And then once you're done, you're going to reattach your corners back into place and they just snap right in. So now that we've got our three corners installed and already adjusted to the ceiling, we're gonna finish on our last one here, the control side. Right where the curve is, there's two clips. You're gonna slide them in there, that slots, and push up on the sides, and that latches it in place. We got our connections to go onto the control panel next, and we'll do that next. As you can see here, all of our ends are color-coded to match the board, and they're all gonna be sized to fit. It's gonna match to your board, connect on. Now that we've got our plugs plugged into our control board for the louver and the display, we're gonna tuck our wires in here to where they're out of the way. They got clips on the sides to hold your excess wire. So you wanna make sure you get that all up inside here and as neat as possible. To the back of the cover, it's got a lip on it that will hook onto the control box. And then that way, as you pull it up to the front here, you'll be able to put your screws in. Okay, now that we've got our cover panel on, we're going to reattach the clips for safety. That will hold your filter up. So that way, if they do drop it down, nobody accidentally gets dropped on their head. There's two clips on the side here. That's going to slide in, and this should push up and latch into place. And now that we've got our cover on, we're ready to pressurize our system first and evacuate it once we get the outdoor unit installed, and we should be ready to go. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.